They kind of look like tall creatures. Made of light from another dimension. But they're not. Asterisk. All right, are you ready for the real science definition? The space portal opens up, then the like Cthulhu glob creatures come out, and then I notice them, and then I say, get the hell out of here, and zap them with lightning, and they disappear. So you're welcome. Fine, okay? That's right. Don't worry, we will get to the science next. Let's continue. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. Fantastic. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited because Sprite season has begun. You know that lemony lime storm sensation that we get high up in the atmosphere, high above Earth, in the realm of meteors and noctilucent clouds. A strange and beautiful form of lightning dances at the edge of space. Researchers call the bolts sprites. Sprites. They are red, fleeting, and tend to come in bunches. Note to sky watchers, sprite season is underway. Isn't that what you said already? All right. Don't be repetitive, man. Hemingway knew what the heck he was talking about. I captured my first sprites of the season, reports photographer Jan Curtis. The thunderstorm that produced them was about 200 miles to my south-southwest. Well, great. Was that really the best quote you could come up with? Like, we don't know where she was. Anyway, because sprites are associated with thunderstorms and fairies, they tend to occur in late spring and summer. Thunderstorm season is sprite season, and sprite season is here. For that lemony lime, highfalutin, upper atmosphere taste. You see, sprites are a true space weather phenomenon, explains lightning scientist Oscar van der Velde of the Technical University of Catalonia, Spain. They develop in mid-air around 80 kilometers altitude, growing in both directions, first down, then up. This happens when a fierce lightning bolt draws lots of charge from a cloud near Earth's surface. You see, lightning fields shoot to the top of Earth's atmosphere, and the result is a sprite. The entire process takes about 20 milliseconds. Wow, sprites sound like horrible lovers. Unless, of course, you're really busy and don't have much time. Then, they're great. Although sprites have been seen for at least a century, most scientists did not believe they existed until after 1989, when sprites were photographed by cameras on board the space shuttle. Wait, so scientists did not believe in them, even though they existed. Fascinating. Utterly. Phenomenally. Fascinating. Now, sprite chasers routinely photograph sprites from their own homes. I used up a Watek 91910HX security camera with UFO capture software catch my sprites. Give it a try. What the hell is UFO capture software? Is that like the machine they had in Ghostbusters they put all the ghosts in? Hey, an extra bonus, volcanic sunsets. Everybody loves volcanic sunsets. Vivid sunsets caused by aerosols. We're just super chilling out here at Thor News. Keeping our eyes on the skies and our heart in the heavens. All right. Party time. Party people. All right. So, yeah. Crap. Sprites are real. They're sciency. Sprites are large scale electrical discharges that occur high above thunderstorm clouds or Come on Olympus. Come Yulon I am bus clouds giving rise to a quite varied range of shapes flickering in the night sky. They are triggered by the discharges of positive lightning between an un between an underlying thundercloud and the ground. Negative lightning sucks. Negative lightning is such a downer. Sprites appear as sprites appear is luminous reddish orange flashes. They occur in clusters within the altitude of 50 to 90 kilometers or 31 to 56 miles above the Earth's surface. If we had jetpacks, we could see them up close, but we do not because our technology for the public has been stuck in the mud for a long, long time. Sporadic visual reports of sprites go back to at least 1886. 
Sprites are sometimes inaccurately called upper atmospheric lightning by dumbasses, right? You know, like some guys like, oh my god, look at that upper atmospheric lightning. And I'd be like, no, dumbass, that's a Sprite. However, Sprites are cold plasma phenomena that lack the hot channel temperatures of tropospheric lightning. So they're more akin to the flotocentosubi fluorescent tube? Fluorescent sentio tube, whatever. That word is stupid. Discharges, then to lightning discharges. We're talking about sprites, man. How serious do you expect me to be? Well, if you expect me to be totally serious, I guess that makes me a dumbass. I'm okay with that. You know. <laughs> I don't care if you're laughing at me, laughing with me. If I'm making you laugh, I'm satisfied. Since their 1989 discovery, sprites have been imaged tens of thousands of times from the ground, from aircraft, and from space. They have become the subject of intense investigations. They kind of look like comet spirits that decided to come hang out top of Earth, if you ask me. Three types of sprites have been categorized by Matthew Eoff, Geoff, Geoff McHarg. He's a PhD at the UAK, U.S. Air Force Research Academy, and NASA are oh, crap. You got three types of sprites, bro. You got jellyfish sprite, you got carrot sprites, and you got sea sprite. Sprites are colored reddish orange. Fascinating. They, they occur in clusters. They're fast, and they're discharging stuff. Sometimes sprites get a halo, because they are good. They are sometimes mistaken for elves due to their visual similarity in short duration. Hey, it really says that. I'm not making that up. So look, they are sometimes mistaken. They are sometimes mistaken for elves due to their visual similarity in short duration. I'm not making that up. It really says that. You may not believe in sprites and elves, but scientists have photographed them. They are real things. Jackass. I gotta stop calling you names. I mean, I don't mean it. I'm just doing it to be funny. But I shouldn't put you down. To be funny, you know, I should be funny without putting people down. I should be like, hey, look, stratospheric balloon. Animals, red sprites, red sprites, and blue jets come together. Don't ever forget red sprites, red sprites. All right, give me more funny shit before I F you up into the T to the Z. Okay, we're done. We're done here, man. Sprites, they're back. Better than ever. They kind of look like tall creatures made of light from another dimension. But they're not. Asterisk. Asterisk. Testing of hydrogen bomb Castle Romeo. And a red sprat. Oh no. I heard noises. <laughs> Party dance time. I don't know. Okay, stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation.